Hi, we're in the PA Now newsroom with our reporter Michael Joel Hansel. Now, Michael, I know you've written a report on PA Now about this uh, food program for the schools. What is it and how big is it? Well, it's the Feeding Our Future program and, uh, well, Glenn, basically it provides emergency lunches to children who are in need. And over last year, over the whole city of Prince Albert, 50,000 uh, meals were served to children in Prince Albert. So it's uh, quite a large program and it's supported by local businesses mm -hmm. in, the, in our community here. And checking out your article, Michael, yeah, I didn't realize, A, the magnitude of it. And why is it so important to have this? I mean, who, what are the kids struggling with? Well, as I... Uh, Base, uh, the chairperson for the uh, Catholic school division here in town put it best, uh, quoting the vice principal of one of the schools, it's very hard for children to learn on an empty stomach. So, I mean, obviously you get some good food in you and then you can, you can focus and take in all that they're trying to teach you. So, very, mm -hmm. again, very hard for kids to focus and learn on an empty stomach. And uh, Michael, what we do notice is a lot of the stories that we have on PA now elicit, elicit a lot of social media response on our, on our Discus page and our Facebook page. Many folks, of course, supportive of the program, but some people saying, are some parents perhaps not taking advantage of people's benevolence? Yeah, well, I guess that's always something that's it's possible and on people's minds and whatnot, but I mean, in the end, it ultimately, I think it's about helping the kids, and I don't think the kids should have to suffer because uh, the parents are what they are. I mean, we can't pick our parents, can we? Okay, good stuff. Michael Joel Hansen, new to our team. Check out his story on pnow.com.